Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cool monarch bracelet. This was designed by the Illuminator um, on Instagram. I'm going to bring up her profile here in just a second, but first I wanted to show you both sides of this bracelet. So this is the signature side, um, but you can also wear it on the opposite side, which looks something like this. So it is a bit different um, on each side because of the placing and the looping. Um, but anyway, I'm going to bring up her profile here on Instagram. So it is the underscore luminator, luminator with ER at the end. I know there's someone um, with another like A-R-O-R name, but um, anyway, this is her profile. And she has created um, quite a few original designs on the loom, one of which I've already done a tutorial for, the prick or the passionate bracelet, sorry. Um, and this is just her profile. She started her account only three weeks ago, so um, anyway, I would definitely recommend checking out her account and giving her a follow for me. And um, I'm going to show you how to make this today. So you are going to need seven pin bars for um, this bracelet at least. If you want a full wrap, you're going to want 14 pin bars so that you can make it two looms long. Um, but I'm only using seven today for the sake of time uh, in this tutorial. You're also going to need a hook. And a C-clip, you can use a large C-clip like I used up here, or a small one, depending on um, your personal preference. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So making sure that the arrows are pointing away from you, you're going to take your border color, which in this bracelet is neon green. I'm going to be using electric glow blue today. You're going to just start by going up to the outside on each side. And then you're going to trace the border across. And then go up to the outside here and here. And then what you're going to do is just make a single chain down until you reach the third to last peg on each of the sides. And then I'll show you how to close it off and then we'll start on the next step. And once you reach the third to last peg on both sides, what you're going to want to do is go up and into the center on each side here. I can get my band. And then you're going to, again, go horizontally across on both sides. And then end by going up into that very last center peg there. And then you're going to go ahead and come back to the beginning of your loom. Next thing we're going to be doing is placing these um, mango bands that are on the sides here and on these sides here. And I'm going to be using ocean blue for that. So starting on the first pin, first peg, we're going to go up and into the center here. Going up to the next one, go up and into the center. And so on and so forth all the way down until you reach the end of your loom. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. Starting on the seventh pin, first peg, go up into the center and just kind of mirror what you did on the left. Make sure that you are pushing your bands down as you go. The pins are going to get kind of crowded. Oops, that band is broken. Okay, so once you have finished, you're going to want your loom to end up looking something like this. We're not going to place any on the outside border, um, just so we don't overlap it, but we're going to come back to the beginning. Next thing we're going to be doing is placing the lime green bands that are on the outside here. And then on this side, it looks like this. And I'm going to be using navy blue for this. So first thing you're going to do is start on the first peg on the second pin. You're going to go straight forward. Then you're going to go up and out to the outside. 
again going straight forward and then up oops up and out to the outside and then straight forward out to the border same thing on this sixth pin you're going to go straight forward and then out to the border straight forward and then out to the border and then out to the border so you're just going to do this all the way down until you reach the end of the loom. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this so you can follow along. And then I'll show you what comes next. And then you're going to want to end this section by going straight forward here. And you're going to end right here just going straight forward. And then you're going to go ahead and come back to the beginning of the loom. Next thing you're going to be doing is placing X bands, which are the electric glow purple in this bracelet here. And I'm going to be using royal purple, which is just like a dark or deep purple or whatever it's called. Um, it's just the opaque dark purple, I guess. So anyway, when you start on the left, you're going to start on this left pin here. You're going to go up and into the center on the right. And then for your top band, you're going to go from the, uh, the third peg up to the second peg here. So again, starting from the second peg, going up to the third peg, and then you're going to start from the second, or the third peg up to the second. So you're going to start on the left for the left side, and you're going to start on the right for the right side. So on the right side here, we're going to start out here, go up into the center, and then from here out. Again, from here up into the center, and then from here out. You're going to do this all the way down your loom as well. Okay, so you're going to want to end your X's up here at the top, and it should just be pretty easy to tell where it ends, because it's going to just stop with your border, and then we're going to come back to the beginning, and we're going to do the next step, which in this bracelet is kind of hard to see, but it is the lime green, or not the lime green, the neon green in the sides here, and it is the neon green single chains right here. So, I am going to be using electric glow purple for this, and what you're going to do is start on the third and fifth pegs here and you're just going to create a single chain. Okay, Try to make sure they're not twisted because it's hard to undo it um, after you take the bracelet off. But it should be very simple, just creating a single chain.
here. If you hear noises downstairs, there's stuff going on in the garage, which is right underneath of my room. So, uh, sorry for the noises if you can hear them. But anyway, once you're finished, you're going to end right here at, um, at the border here, and then come back to the beginning of the loom. We have a couple more steps to place. Our first, our next step is going to be these um, deep purple arrow bands into the center. And for that deep purple, I am going to be using ocean blue. So you're going to want to start on this third peg here and go up into the center. And then starting on the fifth peg, whoopsies, that band is gone. Go up and into the center here. Then go up to the next peg. You're going to go up into the center and up into the center. And just continue making that arrow shape all the way down. And then I'll show you... Um, the next couple steps. Once you get to the end, you're going to want to stop here. We're not going to overlap the border. And we're going to come back to the beginning of the loom and place two more steps. Our first step, or our next second to last step, is going to be the lime green in the center here. And I am using navy blue for that. So you're going to start in the center where your um, arrow band stopped, and you're going to go out to the left and to the right, creating like a V shape. Or you're making an X with those. Um, other colors, but we're going to go ahead and do that all the way down the loom. Once you've gotten to the end of your loom, you're going to want it to look something like this. You're going to stop out here at the border and out here at the border. We have one last step to place, so go ahead and come back to the beginning of the loom. Our last step is going to be a single chain down the center, which is kind of hard to see in this bracelet as well, but it is electric glow purple. And you can't really see it on this side either, but it is inside of there. And I'm going to be using the border color, which is my electric blue and all you have to do is place a single chain down the center. So very simple step here. And then once you have gotten all the way down to that last center peg there, you're going to add a cap band. I'm going to use my border color here and just cap that off. And then you can go ahead and turn your loom around so the arrows are pointing towards you. And we're going to go ahead and start looping. So go ahead and get your hook. And the first thing that we're going to be looping is the single chain that we just placed. So go underneath your cap band and just simply loop up the single chain. And try to make sure that it doesn't get twisted, otherwise it will um, affect your bracelet. Okay, so you're going to loop the last one up into the top, then you might want to push down this chain here. We're going to come back to the beginning, and you're going to go underneath of your cap band and loop out those two border bands, so just grabbing the top one, oops, just grab one at a time, 
Grab the top one, pull that out to itself, and then grab the bottom one and pull that out to itself. And now we're going to be looping the center um, blue bands here. So you're going to grab your navy blue one first and you're going to pull that up into the center. Same on the other side, pull that one up into the center. Then you're going to go inside of this peg, grab the blue, the ocean blue, and pull that out to itself. And then you're going to grab the navy blue and pull it into the center the navy blue into the center and then the ocean blue out and out. So you're pretty much just looping all of these center bands to themselves so go ahead and do that all the way down till you reach the end of your loom and I will show you what comes next. And try to make sure that your bands aren't twisted when you do pull them out. I know that sometimes there, there's nothing you can really do to make them not twist, but um, just try your best not to get them all twisted, because like I usually say, it's easier to untwist them on the loom than to untwist them off of the loom and buried underneath of all the other bands. So. Getting down to the end of the loom here. This is probably one of the longer processes other than the X bands here, but hopefully it's not too tedious. Alright, so once you have finished looping all of those bands out, you're going to want to push down these bands in the sides here. Just a little bit so they don't pop off. And we're now going to be looping these electric purple single chains here, but we're not going to loop them to themselves. We're just going to go underneath of this band here. We're going to loop this purple band, not to itself, but to the pin off to the side here. You're not going to loop it to its home pin, but to the pin off to the left. And then for here, you're going to not loop it to this pin, but off to the right. So off to the left, off to the right, kind of following this bottom band of your X here. So go ahead and do that, and then we have still a lot more to do, but it shouldn't hopefully take too long. Okay, so this is what the end of your loom should look like. All of your uh, single chain bands should be looped out to the left or the right of their home pin, whichever is closest to the outside. And we're going to go ahead and come back to the beginning of the loom and we're going to loop our next bands, which are going to be these purple X's. So starting with the bottom band here, you're going to pull this purple band over to itself and then you're going to pull this purple band over to itself. And then you're going to go ahead and loop this border band out, whoopsies, I just dropped my hook, and loop this one out, and you're going to grab the top purple band from inside of your um, border band here, and you're going to pull that to itself, and same on the other side, pull that to itself. Then go inside of the in inner peg, I guess, wherever your bottom band is, and pull that one to itself, and then grab the top band and pull that to itself. So you're always going to be pulling the bottom band first and then you're going to pull the top band. And these X bands do get very very twisted so just be careful um, when you're looping them. It took me probably 10 or 20 minutes to just 
um, untwist these X bands after I got the first bracelet off of the loom. So just I guess be careful with that. Unless you want to spend a bunch of time doing that, then it's up to you. And then you're going to loop your last ones up to the border here. And I'm going to continue doing this on my other side as well. So again, just make sure that you're grabbing the bottom band, which should be um, opposite for each side. But So it's going to be a little bit different for each side. But just make sure that you grab the bottom band and you'll be okay. I don't know if you can hear voices in the background, but my sister has a friend over and they're pretty much yelling at each other across the house, so jumping around and all that stuff, so sorry if you hear any noises. But um, what we're going to do now is just push down these bands on the outside after you finish looping all of your X's. And you're going to go ahead and come back to the beginning and we're now going to be looping these navy blue bands here. So what you're going to do is go underneath of your kind of border cap band and grab the first band, the navy blue band. You're going to pull that up to itself. Then you're going to go inside and grab that blue band and pull it back to itself. And then grabbing the navy blue band, pull it up to itself and back to itself, up to itself, and then back. So just go ahead and loop each of the navy blue bands to themselves, but leave the ocean blue there for the next step. And then go ahead and loop all the rest of this. And then the ocean blue bands do have a couple steps to them, so make sure to pay attention for that. And your last band will go straight forward. And same thing on the right side here. Starting by looping this band forward. And then back to itself. Forward and back to itself. So I'm going to finish my right side here. Okay, so once you have looped all of your bands, you're going to want to push down um, just these outside ones near the border, or on the border technically. And what we're now going to be doing is looping the ocean blue bands. So what we're going to do is go inside of the second peg up, you're going to grab that ocean blue band, but instead of pulling it to itself, you're going to pull it down to the pin below its home, or its home peg. So. So it's home peg goes here, you're going to pull it down one, same here, you're going to pull this down, and we do still have another step to do with the ocean blue, so you're going to pull that down, and so on, down your loom. Same thing on the right side, just pull that down to the pin below it, and we have two more steps before we finish the bracelet.
Okay, and then once you have looped all of those down, we're going to be lifting some bands over. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my loom sideways here. And you can see that on the first pin right here, we only have two navy blue and then the ocean blue. So we're going to leave that one alone. But going to this pin, you have an ocean blue, two navy blue, and an ocean blue. And you're going to grab that bottom ocean blue, lift it up and over the peg, just like so. Then you're going to go to the next one, grab this bottom ocean blue band and pull it up and over the peg. That up and over. And so on down the rest of your loom. And they can get pretty twisted and it's going to get really annoying, especially for me um, once I take it off because twisted bands are probably my worst enemy um, in looming anyway. <laughs> so anyway, you're going to lift over bottom bands for everything except the first and last pin. The first pin here doesn't have anything to lift over, so we're going to leave that there. And then I'm going to turn my loom to the other side here, again, leaving this first pin alone. We're going to grab the bottom ocean blue band on every peg, or every peg that has a bottom band, and lift it over the, uh, over the pin. And again, leaving this top peg alone because we don't have anything to catch it when you lift it over. Now what we're going to be doing is simply looping our border. So go ahead and grab the last band here, pull that out to itself. Try not to get them twisted. And you're gonna pull the band up and up. Loop the border just like normal. And then we will be finished. You can also take off these bottom bands here once you've looped up a couple of pegs, just so that it doesn't stretch those out too much or get um, hung up on that when you're trying to take the bracelet off. And then, my sister's yelling, um, then you're going to grab this last band, go up into the center, across the center, and then up, oops, I grabbed the band, and then up into the very top, just tracing the border. And I'm going to finish my right side. Again, going up into the center, then across, and then up into the very top. Take an extension band, I'm only going to use one for today. You're just going to pull it through the bands, and then, whoopsies, I just hit my camera, sorry. And we're going to go ahead and pull this off, just be careful not to snap your bands. I actually find it easier to take it off from the bottom, but um, I guess I'll just do it from the top as I always do um, in tutorials, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this off. Okay, so once you have taken it off, it's going to look a little bit weird, especially these X-bands that are all sorts of twisted. Um, but I will fix that uh, after the tutorial. And then this is the back side or the not signature side here. But anyway, I'm going to put that one off to the side because it doesn't really look great right now. I had to untwist the bands before I post a picture of it. But anyway, that's going to do it for this tutorial. So thank you for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have um, the Illuminator's name in the description box below. Make sure to check her out on Instagram and give her a follow for me. And that's what I'm going to have for this video, so I hope to see you next time.